Hi, it's Alicia from My Work Basket. Today I'm going to show you the Fiskars box maker. Um, now Fiskars did send this to me free, but I was under no obligation to show it to you. I just really think it's that awesome and that great. Um, now it is called a box maker, but besides boxes, you can also make envelopes and bows. And I think the bows come out pretty cute and they're very easy to make. So I'm going to actually do different videos. This one's going to show you how to make the bow. I'm going to do a different one to show you how to make the envelope and a different one to show you how to make the box. Um, I did also do a box opening video and I want to show you real quick a little thing that I learned about this. The stylus slides in here at the side um, and in my box opening video I just kind of shoved it in there because it's triangular and it does look like it would fit in any dimension. However, there's a line on just one side and you have to make sure that that's facing up. If that's facing up, you'll be able to get your tool out easily. Um, if it's not facing up, you're going to need a pair of pliers to get your tool out. So make sure that that tool is facing up. But then I'm going to show you how to do the paper bows today. And I've got a pre-cut strip of paper here. And this is going to be 1 inch by 10 inches. So the Fiskars box cutter comes with this little tool. And it shows you the envelope sizes and the bow sizes. And there's sizes on here for three bows. Um, I think you could figure out other dimensions if you wanted a different size. But so this is going to be the one inch by 10 inch paper size. And I'm going to show you how to make that bow. So the first step is the same no matter what bow size. You're going to center it over these little lines. And that's going to give you these nice cut ends. And then it shows you on here what to do. So for one inch by 10 inch, my first ruler position is going to be two. So I'm going to bring it up here. I'm going to line up my end with the two on this ruler. I'm going to punch it. I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to do that again. Then I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to do the same thing again. And this paper that I'm using is just some fairly generic patterned paper. Um, it's actually out of a stack like these that you get at the craft store. I have also done it with um, this. This one is one I made out of cardstock. So you can use thicker papers. Okay, so ruler position number two says five. So I'm going to do the same thing, but what I'm going to do is pull it down here to the five inch. I'm going to cut it. Flip it over, cut it again, and you get this. And then all you have to do is bring your pieces right here into the center, line them up and give them a little pinch. And then I just take like a little zig pen here, some glue in the center. Hold that for just a second there. Now, if you're gluing this onto like a box or a card, you can call it done. Um, you can also put just a little bit of extra glue under the tabs. And then I just kind of take it and poof my bow up a little bit. And then you could put a bead, a button, you know, something tiny there in the center. But that's it. That's how easy it is to make one of these bows. Just like that with the Fiskars box cutter.